What's going on YouTube? Legions Gaming here with another Slime Asekai Memories video. Today we're going to be going over the reroll guide for the game. It is extremely easy, very simple. It's going to be a short video because it's very easy to do. I won't go through the whole process. So what I mean by not going by the whole process is you got to go through the game until you unlock the tutorial section uh, to summon. Once you do the tutorial summon, you're going to do one more battle and it's going to bring you right back to the whole menu after they show you the village um, modification screen and all that. Once you have that open, um, you can do get everything from your gift box. You can do your summons. You can do one multi and a single summon. And then if you want to use the magic crystals instead of tickets, you have 190 crystals, which is about um, six multis, six or seven, uh, not six multis, six or seven singles, sorry. And... Um, once you do those, if you do not get what you want, you literally just go to the title screen, go to the settings wheel on the top right and clear data. Once you do that, you will not have to download all data and do the whole tutorial again. You literally will just go back into the same screen you were just were at and you can summon again. So you won't have to go through the whole tutorial stage again. It's very, very simple to reroll. Uh, what you're going to want to do is go for, we're going to show you guys all the stuff that you're going to want to go for. What you're going to want to do is go for at least a five-star support that works for the team that you're building. Um, I am using a list that my buddy Junior and Chill uh, had made by going through the skills of the characters and seeing which characters worked best with which. We're still working on this um, list. We're going to go through this together. Obviously, we need to get these characters on paper. They look like they work very well. Um, keep in mind, there's no PvP, so... You don't need to get the best optimal build. You can go for whoever you want um, in the game. They're all very good. But you kind of want to try and go for a mono team or at least teams that work well together. Uh, Rainbow teams probably won't do as good as mono fire, mono earth um, teams. Uh, what I mean by mono, if you don't know what that means, is a team that's all fire element or a team that's all earth element, uh, etc. Um, we're going to go over the supports and the good characters you should uh, get for five stars. Milum, Benimaru, Shizu, stuff like that. Uh, Shion. Uh, we're going to go through all those characters, so without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, and once you have finished your tutorial summons, you will be at this screen here. You can get your stuff from the gift box. Once you claim everything, you're going to go over to recruit. You will have a little menu here that has a ticket summon for um, the tick just tickets. Uh, I already did all my tickets, so it was 11 tickets. I did it. I didn't get shit. So we are going to be re-rolling. I do not want to use these magic crystals because uh, sitting here doing singles, if I already didn't get in two multis the, the things I want, and a couple more singles not going to do anything. Uh, ignore the black screen. It's because of Blue Sacks 5. I don't know if it's an update they're going to do to fix it or not, but either way, uh, on the phone and at tablet, it does not look like that. The, and sometimes the animations don't play when you're summoning. But to re-roll, what you're going to do, if you don't like what you got, you're going to click on this little menu section here, these like dots, the nine dots. You're going to click on return to title screen. Now, I'm going to mute this section because um, the game is copy. The song is copyrighted. It's the anime opening for the game. You're going to click on menu here and you're going to click on delete game data and you're going to hit yes. Yes. So we are sure we want to delete game data. Very, very easy. You're going to select English. Yes. And click through skip prologue and part of the tutorial. Yes. Now it's going to bring you right to the tutorial summon again. Very, very, very easy reroll. It does take a bit to get to this part. Um, maybe like a good seven to 10 minutes, depending on if you're reading the stuff for the first time. Then you just delete it. And it's after that, it's very simple. Are right, you just going to put in your name? I'm going to put legions here. Yes. Then once we put our name in, it's going to bring us straight to the tutorial summon. Perfect. So we're going to go to our tutorial summon. Let's see who we get. So you guys are going to see this very weird black screen. Um, the animation for some reason is broken on Blue Sacks 5. By the way, this game only works on Blue Sacks 5. I have a separate video on my channel that is going to be going live um, after this video. Keep a lookout for it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the like button. Ring the notification bell. That way you're notified as soon as the video goes up. Um, it, I'll show I show you guys on the video how to download Blue Sacks 5 um, and actually install this game through Blue Sacks 5 because there are some settings that you need to change. Um, and on this tutorial summon, you are only guaranteed one five star. You will not get multiple five stars. Okay, so don't keep rerolling thinking you get a five stars, uh, two five stars from this. It's only one five star from what people in the beta have said. They have rerolled hundreds of times and only saw one five star. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna skip through all these. Oh, these are some nice to support some again. Okay, we got a four star. Oh, she's a really good support. Okay. Got another three star here. The animation when you pull a five star is really cool because it shows their animation for their ult, but you're not gonna see it on Blue Sax 5, unfortunately. Oh, I got the Dwarf King. He's actually pretty good. The Dwarf King is actually pretty good. <laughs> um, believe his name is Dwargo. If I remember correctly. Yes, Gazelle Dwargo. So, Dwargo works really good with Shizue and Milam. Um, and Benny Mar. Um, Milam, the, the Light Milam. So, he works really good with Fire Benny Mar, which I pulled on my last, um... On my last roll so let's hope after my do, do my little tutorial um thing here not tutorial the next battle to unlock the rest of the rewards that i pull at least she's away or the four star milum or five star benny mara let's pray that i even get a five star at all because oh, last time i did it i didn't get a five star we're just going to skip this it's going to make you do this one battle um so you can get all your stuff um from your gift box so let's do this battle really quickly. If you guys haven't seen the combat yet, you're still looking to see if you're getting get into this game. It pretty much plays like FGO. If you guys have played FGO, it's very similar to FGO. You're going to match up the same color orbs together um, to do longer strings of attack. And the more orbs you pair together, the higher bonus damage you deal. Um, so what I'm going to do here is this, this, this. Okay. All right, now we're gonna go for the green. Okay, that, 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 that. Okay, as you see the bonus filled up, we get 120% bonus damage, very, very good. Then he's gonna do a lot of damage here. Fierce combo breaker. Oh, he did not die. It's okay, he's about to die. It's only one wave, so this battle's very, very short. After this, I believe you unlock auto. Okay, very easy. Easy. I like that it doesn't make you do the full animation even though they're already dead. Um, that way it's a lot faster. The auto in the game is pretty good too. Very, very excited for this game. I hope you guys are excited for this game as much as I am. I'm very excited to make, I haven't been excited to make content in the game for a while, for gotcha. Um, so I'm very, very much excited about this. Okay, we're gonna go back to the home screen. They're gonna show us here now on how to develop your town and how to upgrade your town. I'm just gonna kind of skip through this. You guys can read this at your own pace. I don't wanna make the video very long um, because I know how annoying it is when you just wanna know how to reroll and the video goes on for like 10 to 20 minutes. I'm trying to keep it as short as possible. So it's just gonna show you how to build the locations and uh, what they do and what they're used for, what the, fu the functions are for. You're gonna get some achievements for doing this. So the town is very important to get free mag uh, magic crystal for something for free to play. Showing you upgrades and uh, how to upgrade and what they do, okay. We're gonna construct again. It shows you how long they take to construct as well. Okay, going to construct another one. Very good. And with that, that should be the end of the tutorial for the home develop, the village development. Um, yep, training ground is complete. That's where you can go to train. Um, man, it's I love the town system in this. I think it's going to be so fun. A lot of games do that like like dorm room or town thing or like whatever. Uh, like Punishing Grey Raven does and MHA did, but like I didn't really have incentive to actually want to go through and do that. You know what I'm saying? In this game, like I really, really want to build my town because you actually walk through your town, you know, and see it developing. That's crazy. I, I, I'm, I'm enjoying this so much. I can't freaking wait to play this more. I will be streaming this live on my YouTube channel. I am, I do have a stream scheduled on YouTube and Twitch. So if you guys want to check out the stream of me playing this, if you guys ever have any questions on who's the best character, etc., what teams to build, etc., stuff like that, I will be live. You guys can ask me a bunch of questions. So now once you get to this point, you know that you are very close to being able to do your pulse. Okay, you're getting your daily login bonuses now. It shows you all the notices. Okay, we're going to get this starter mission real quick. Okay, we got 30 magic crystal. Not that it matters because we don't even have enough to do a multi anyway. Unless you wanted to play a little bit more. You could do a couple more missions to unlock enough to do um, a, another summon. But in my opinion, uh, it, just, it just takes too long. It's not worth it. Um, so you're going to hit accept all. You're going to get all this free stuff. And then we're going to go straight to recruit. 
once you're at your recruit we'll do a single summon here as, as you can see we got a daily summon by the way do your daily so they have daily summons in this game very good i'm very happy about that at launch this game has daily summons um we're gonna skip we got a three star ryota i think that was ryota um I don't remember all their names. It's been a while since I've seen them in the anime. They weren't really in season two that much. Okay. Um, I can't see what's going on. So I'm hating Blue Stacks 5 right now because of this reason. I'm probably going to mainly play this on my tablet because um, I can't see if I'm getting a good summoning animation. This really triggered me. So I'm tapping the screen. Okay. From what I'm hearing, it sounds like I'm going to get something good. Let me just click through it. Okay. So if it's silver, that means just three stars. If it's gold, that means four stars and three stars. And I didn't get a five star animation. But one of these could turn into five stars. Probably not. We're going to skip through it. And we did not get a single five star. Rip. That means we are going to reroll again. Um, so we're going to do the last single ticket. See if we get anything. And we got four star Rimuru actually, who is very, very good. Um, Damn, I'm actually mad because he's really good as a four star, but I did not get a five star support or five star character. So, I mean, if you want, you guys can do these singles, but in my opinion, not really worth, you need 300. So you, you're gonna be sitting here for a while clicking. You could click through it and well, just for the sake of the video, we'll click through it and see how long it takes. We'll just hit skip, see if we get anything good. So we got a four star support. This is a support. Um, this yeah, That's actually good for a dark team. Okay. Gonna skip this one too. Got another three star. And these bizarre points are what you use for pity, by the way. Every time you do a single summon or a four, oh, four star Shuna. Jesus, I'm actually getting good pulls on these singles. Um, every time you do a summon or a multi summon, every one pull gets you uh, one bizarre point. At 200 bizarre points is pity. So 200 pulls is pity. If you do not use those bizarre points by the time the banner goes away, it turns into a different currency that you can use in a shop to get dupes and like awakening masks, stuff like that, um, weapons, I believe. Okay, so we didn't get anything. So once again, I'm gonna show you guys one more time for the last time. We're gonna go to the, um, we're gonna go to the title screen. Okay, we're gonna mute the game music for a second because we do not want to be copyright strike, do we? Okay, and then we're just gonna hit again, delete game data. Yes, yes, okay. Easy as that, the game is deleted and we can go back to re-rolling and skip the progress again so you don't have to do the prologue except all and you're in the game again and you can go back to doing your tutorial summons very very easy so thank you guys so much for watching this video if it helps you out let me know in the comment section down below subscribe if you haven't already we'll be doing a lot more guides beginner guides team compositions um boss guides town guides stuff like that it's, I'm very excited to play this game. So feel free to join me on Twitch and uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel to check my, I won't be doing a lot of live streams on YouTube, kind of just doing one for this stream um, to stream like the, you know, re-rolls for the game and answer a lot of questions. Cause I do have a lot of people on YouTube that watch their YouTube streams, but I mainly stream on Twitch. So feel free to follow me on Twitch where I will be streaming this game a lot. Uh, thank you guys so much for the awesome support. Thank you so much for uh, watching the video. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, ring the notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next video.